if you're new here, I'm Serena and this here is my YouTube channel. Now in today's video guys, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics Sailor Collection. Now when I saw this on social media, I was like, I need to get my hands on this collection. The palette looked beautiful. Now I do have some of her past collections and let me tell y'all, they are bomb 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 if you guys haven't already tried any of her makeup items i highly recommend you guys go and try out some of her makeup items because they're bomb they're just really good so we have it right here i'm super excited i will be doing some swatches because why not this is like my first review video on something so i only feel like it's fair to do swatches for you guys so the first thing that's right on top, we're just going to go ahead and get right in. I already do have my makeup prepped and everything because by the looks of everything, the only thing that she really came out with is eyes and lips. There wasn't really nothing for the face, which is fine. So the first thing that we have here is a Kylie Jenner Shadow Stick Duos. This is what they look like. Look at how cute that packaging is. Super, super cute. So one is called Rock the Boat and the other one is Sandy Cheeks. Super cute. Y'all, I'm so excited. My favorite, favorite items by Kylie Cosmetics are her um, high glosses for sure. That's definitely going to be like number one. My second favorite are her lip liners. Bomb. And then my third so far that I've been trying out and I'm being, uh, that I've been obsessed with are her bronzer sticks. So creamy. But anyways, back to this collection. So we have two of them right here. And this is what they look like. You can see that really pretty with the nice pretty gold detail right here so this one right here is in sandy cheeks <gasps> pretty gold it literally just looks like a crayon so this is what this is the color of her Ooh, really really pretty and then let me do it right here because this is my real skin my skin tone color and this is just my self tanner so if you're about my shade this is what it would look like and they're super creamy super pretty and super creamy oh yeah that's really thin it doesn't feel heavy at all it doesn't feel like a thick consistency so the second one in this collection is rock the bow it's just the same packaging <gasps> Ooh, this is like a pretty rose gold look at that that is so pretty i hope you guys can see that there we go look at that super pretty and let me go ahead and put it right here as well for you guys you guys don't mind my swatches <laughs> That one is really pretty, super pretty. So that's those two right there. I hope I somehow use these. Okay, so next, let's just go ahead and jump right into, I guess, the lashes. Okay, so these are very simple, very just settled. They're really not something, like, crazy. Um, Of course, that's, you know, more on Kylie's side. She's really not some, like, you know, crazy lashes. And you can tell that these definitely give that cat eye effect because they are super short in the inner corner and then really long and dramatic on the outer corner. So that's what these look like. They are really pretty. I'm excited to see how these are going to look because I have been looking for eyelashes that are like this. So I'm excited to try these out. So this is the packaging. Look at how cute. <gasps> Yes, Kylie. And these right here are in the style Shady. I believe these are her only pair of lashes that she has. So these are just the Kylie Jenner lashes in the style Shady. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. But, oh my god, I'm super excited for these. Next, let's just go ahead and jump into her um, matte liquid lipstick and lip liner duo. This is my first liquid lipstick and lip liner duo, guys. I've never bought in a duo like this before. Look at how cute. I don't know if you guys see that. Look at how cute that is. And then the back has these stars. So this right here is in Kiss Me Sailor. Look at the inside packaging. That is so cute. I love that royal blue that she has going on. Super pretty. <gasps> guys, the packaging is royal blue. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Don't mind my thumbnail. <laughs> ah, I'm super excited. Oh, wow. This is such a pretty lip liner. And then I'm going to put it on the inner of my hand as well, just because. That's my self-tanner, and this is my natural skin tone. Super, super pretty lip liner. Beautiful natural brown, for sure. Guys, I'm obsessed with this blue, with this royal blue. Super pretty. So then this right here is a matte liquid lip, and this is what she looks like. I love the little anchors right here on top. Super cute. This is going to be such a pretty color. Really pretty subtle, like mauve -y, pinky nude. 
Like it's not pink, but it's not nude, but it's definitely mauve -y. Really, really pretty. So these are my favorite items of all time. I am obsessed with her high glosses, guys. Obsessed with her high glosses. I probably have like five of them in my purse. This right here is a high gloss in Private Island. And this was that red high gloss that everybody was just like super excited for. I was super excited to see this. Now, her high glosses are not really pigmented in the sense of like the color so yes this looks red it's gonna be very clear but it's still gonna have that color payoff so that's just how her high glosses are so this one right here is in private island and this is what she looks like super pretty again with the royal blue lid yeah so you see how it's it's clear but there's still that red tint but there's definitely not like a lot of red pigment there you go can you guys see that really really pretty though it dragged down so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see how this is going to look on my lips. So, last item, which I am super excited about, is her eyeshadow palette. Look at how pretty, guys. Super, super cute. We have all the shade names in the back. This packaging, for sure, is probably one of my top faves. Love this. It's just a Kylie Jenner pressed powder palette. I'm going to go ahead and open her. Guys, super Super pretty palette. Look at this. Look at that cute mirror, first of all. <laughs> that is so pretty. I am super excited for this red and, of course, that royal blue right on top. Look at that royal blue glitter. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and go through all the names. We're going to just go ahead and swatch right here on the back of my hand. This first one is Come Aboard. Guys, super soft. Ooh, really, really chalky. It's really, really light. So next we have Captain Cutie, which is that shimmer, that silver shimmer with pink and gold like reflex in it this is so cute i hope you guys can see that super pretty so next we have total wave which is a neutral brown super pretty and then we have blue ocean look at that okay something makes me want to play with this but i don't know if i want to do like a red and blue look or a natural look Look at how pretty that is. Definitely a lot of pigment in that one. So next one is Shipwreck, which kind of looks like, to be honest, it kind of looks like the Rock the Boat crayon pencil stick, shadow stick. I'm going to put a little bit more. Super pretty. So next we have Tight Ship. Oh, that's a beautiful pink. Next is Go With The Float. Ooh, this looks like a icy blue. This one is a glitter. Super pretty. Next is a Don't Be Salty, period. Ooh, okay, this feels interesting. Some of the glitters, obviously, compared to other glitters, are going to feel totally different. That one's really, really pretty. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and switch to my other hand. So next, ooh, this is definitely a transition color. It doesn't look that white in person. It's more of like a nude color in person. Next one is Deep Sea. Oh my god, this is such a pretty glitter. It looks like it has like green pink glitters in there. Okay, so now this one is got the blues. Now this is like that navy blue, but in the glitter form, which I'm super oh my god. <gasps> Guys, and it feels so soft. Oh, this is pretty. Pretty sheer, but I'm sure if you just keep packing it on, you can definitely get it really intense. So next is yacht party. These feel really some of these glitters, like yacht party and don't be salty it kind of feels like a putty like when you press into it this one's really pretty too okay next we have wavy oh guys this is gonna be such a pretty transition color guys i hope you guys go out and get this palette because it is really pretty look at that next is unsinkable can you guys see it so we only have two more left which is a total catch which is that really pretty red one and then we have on board so this is total catch oh wow pigment no that is pigmented that's definitely gonna stain your eyelid and next one is on board which is the darkest brown Ooh, this is a really pretty chocolate brown like it always reminds me of like cocoa just like hot cocoa super pretty these are all the shades love it okay guys i'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick and then we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow okay so i brought you guys really up close so that we can go ahead and get right into doing the eyeshadow i am super excited like i said guys i don't know what i want to do but i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the pink with the nudes 
for this video. I have looked at other videos and you know they're all doing the red and the blue. So we're going to go ahead and I'm definitely going to do these pinks right here for sure and these two browns down here. Pour so much powder, look at that. I don't mind all the fallout personally. So we're just going to go ahead and set that right here. We are going to bring that up a bit. Because I do want this to be the lightest shade that we used. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye first and then I'll do my other eye off camera. So now going in with Tight Ship. I'm going to go ahead and place that right underneath. Oh, this is so pretty. And we're just going to slowly blend that upwards. Not as high as we did come aboard. Guys, this is so pretty. Oh, these pinks are beautiful. Super cute. I feel like this look is not going to match my top whatsoever. You can honestly just leave it like that and go in with Captain Cutie and put Captain Cutie all over the lid. That would be a look. But I do want to go in with the browns as well. So we're going to go in with Wavy. We're going to go ahead and pat that in right here. And we're going to mainly keep this one in the crease. Bring this pretty low. Now going in with Tight Ship. We're not going to bring this one as low. But we're definitely bringing it low. Keeping it pretty close to the waterline. Guys, there's so much fallout. And these palettes. That's the only downfall. But if you don't mind, then hey. Far, I did go in with a bit more of the, the Captain Cutie with a wet brush. Now we're just going to go in with Onboard. And we're going to keep this one as close as possible to the waterline. We're not going to bring this one super low. Look at how pretty. Eyeshadow is done. I am obsessed. These colors are super pretty. I don't know why I decided to do the pink and the nude, but I did, and I love it. I highly recommend you guys go and get her palettes. Of course, they do have a lot of fallout, so whenever you're tapping off, you know, your brush and all that, make sure that whatever is in front of you is out of the way because then your other makeup is going to get a lot of eyeshadow on it. But if you don't have a problem with the fallout, then other than that, amazing product. So we have our mascara on, no other than the best, better than sex mascara and I already have glue on my eyelashes so we're gonna go ahead and apply the lashes these are definitely lashes that I wouldn't naturally go for yeah oh wow I mean you really can't see them <laughs> um, I have and they're so short why the hell are they so short but we're just gonna go ahead and they're cute though look at that so it's really just to focus on the outside, not too much on the inside, which is why they were made so short, so that you have more hairs on the outside. You guys see that? It's super cute, very subtle, definitely gives your eye a really cute, dainty, flirty eye look. I actually really, really like that. If you want to make them a little bit more bold, which you can do, and sometimes it's what I do, I just go in with a little bit of mascara, and I'll just go in and softly just tap the fake lashes just to make it look a little bit more bold let me go ahead and add a little bit of this gold right here oh, that's cute i know i wanted to use these just to try them out and see if they actually last long on the eye so we're gonna see okay so last but not least the lip products which is my favorite favorite part so going in with that pretty 
pretty lip liner. We're gonna go ahead and just overdraw the lip. Oh, her lip liners are really creamy. Now guys, I do overdraw my lips a lot because my lips are really, really, really thin. There we go, we have our lip liner on. Such a pretty color. This color right here is gonna look really pretty, especially on lighter skin tones. Oh, gorgeous. So now going in with the matte liquid lip. Look at that color. So we have our lips done. Look at this really pretty color. I am loving it. Even matte like this, but you guys know me, I love gloss. So of course we're gonna add the gloss on top, but this is really pretty. I love how this really goes and matches the eyelid that we have going on. Super pretty. Definitely a look. I'm obsessed so far. So last item that we have here is the high gloss in a private island. I am super excited. Now this is really cute. You can obviously just rock the look out by itself if you're a very big, you know, matte person and you really don't like gloss. But I love gloss all year round. So super excited to try this one out. Super, super pretty. Her glosses are so comfortable on the lip. Guys, they're so thick, but they're so comfortable, and they're not going anywhere. These glosses are not going anywhere. Expect your lips to shine all day long. And that is the final look for the lips and the eyes, guys. <sighs> guys, I am obsessed with this collection. Really cute. I cannot wait to play with the royal blue in that red color. So if you guys want to see more looks that I create, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat because that's where I post a lot of makeup looks that I create. So yeah, guys, I highly recommend you guys go and get this collection if it's still available. I'm sure it is. I hope it is because I would love for you guys to also get your hands on it. But for sure, my favorite product, of course, was that high gloss. I am obsessed. Guys, if there's one thing you can get from her website, it's going to be her high glosses. If you are a high gloss person or just a gloss person in general and you're still on the hunt and looking for the best gloss out on the market, Kylie, Kylie Jenner got to y'all. Go and try them out. Highly recommend. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I had so much fun creating this look. I'm sure this is not going to be the last time that I use these products. It's amazing. The palette's amazing. Everything's amazing. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. If you guys have any other video ideas, please go ahead and comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I would really, really love it. To get at least more than 10 likes on this video guys if you haven't already please go ahead subscribe and press that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i upload a brand new video I hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys